invented the wheel, our very lives have depended upon wheels, travel, and transportation. Early Americans, hardy pioneers, men and women of courage and ambition broke the untamed plains to the rumble of wheels, carving the ruts of the Great Trail deeper into the prairie sod of Kansas, over desert and mountain ranges, fording swollen rivers, fighting rainstorms and blinding blizzards. Wheels carried their families and all their earthly possessions westward, ever westward. Wheels were the lifeline of the West. And always, there was the law of the frontier. The man who holds the roads and mountain passes rules an empire. How are you doing, lad? How are you, Mac? Well, Mac, how is the sheep business? 20,000 I'll be sharing this year. Mm, that's very good. For something that smells so bad. <laughs> I don't mean that bad. <laughs> okay, get back, fellas. Let the mail through. That's it. You boys better wait out here till we get this untangled. Wait, wait, always we have to wait. But Monsieur Mar, he must be the first one to get his mail. That's why. Why not? See him dip them out, open the first wagon trail through this territory. He built this too. And he got plenty rich, but that don't say he owned the whole country. Patience, friend Duval. Jeff is an old man, and he's done a great deal for us. Fourteen letters, five postal cards, and a seed catalog. Either more people ought to write to us, or we ought to quit hauling the mail. <laughs> Just the attic any better, Tony? Well, yes, no, Mr. Marr. My leg's better, but at my last stop, my shoulder was so bad off, I declare I could hardly lift a glass of beer. That's oh, too bad. On your way out, take that keg of nails over to the warehouse, will you? Sure. 